Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. And today I have the very good fortune to have my very good friend, Lori Robinette. Lori, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. It's good to have you. Now, the reason I asked Lori to come on the show is because it's, I wanted to cover a topic that a lot of you don't think about or even think it's ever gonna happen to you. And that is the impact of a long-term disability. Um, Lori, who I'm very glad is sitting right next to me, unfortunately had an incident in the past two years that I wanted to come on and talk about and tell you so that you understand how things could play out if something goes wrong. And so, Lori, I'll be obviously not too much in the details, but can you tell us what happened about a year ago? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I had a brain bleed on the right side of my brain, and um, because of that, it affected my executive function capabilities, the basal ganglia area, the area it affected, so. And so you actually had to have surgery. Yes, I had and surgery. They, and they opened up your brain kind of surgery. Yeah, they took some of my brain out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're not talking uh, to Achilles either. We're talking about no, your brain. Yeah, yeah, my brain. And um, I, I don't think I realized how much of an asset it was until it happened. And I had to go through therapy. And I had therapy telling me I was not going to be able to work again. And I thought they were crazy. Now, luckily, I had um, accepted or or not accepted. Um, I had elected to have long-term like dis yeah. long disability and short-term disability. And that was a key question I was gonna ask you. So like like a lot of us who are sitting there at home, we get our benefits signed up for enrollment, we get an option, you get health insurance, sure. You get health benefits, short-term disability, long-term disability, well, I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Now, I've, I've always signed up for it because unfortunately, or fortunately, unfortunately, my brother, when he was say 25 years, 35 years ago, when he was in his 20s, had a similar situation occurred. So I saw firsthand, bad things can happen to good people. In short-term disability, long-term disability, mm -hmm. whether it be through your company or as an individual, it's relatively inexpensive oh my gosh, compared yes. to health insurance, right? <laughs> yes, it's like, yeah, it's, it was ridiculously expensive. It's like, why do I even need it? Yeah. But then it's like, why would you, why would you not want to spend the dollar two dollars it is to exactly. have the coverage? Um, so yeah, I, I luckily elected it and I blew through my short term disability and then, and then I was able to enact my long term disability, which was a process because they had to confirm that I was not able to work anymore. Yeah. Of course, in my mind, I can still work, but no, I, I, at the end of the day, when your executive function is affected, you can't. So. And I think you made a good point. You know, we're talking about this. Like, it's different. Like, say, a quarterback who blows his Achilles heel or yes. ace, tears, his, tears his ACL. Hopefully, gets that re repaired and go back to it. But as us as working professionals, our brain, our ability, our knowledge helps us drive an income. Right. If you lose that or it impairs, it's not necessarily guaranteed you're going to have the ability to come right back like that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that got me. I didn't expect that. I mean, that is your asset, your brain. Amen so. to that. So. Lori, on behalf of me, all your friends out there, we're so good to see you up and walking thank on two you. feet. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for contributing to this because yes. here at you know, 60 Seconds of Risk, the concept is a thing about explaining things that could happen before they occur so you can make a plan. So like all things, guys, I hope you found this content enjoyable. enjoyable. If there's a certain individual or topic you want me to cover, please let me know. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also see these links on Twitter and in Substack. Until next time, guys, thank you. One more thing on the long term. Oh, one more thing on long term. You got something It's to just make sure that the long term covers you to retirement age. Mine does. Perfect. And I, I didn't know that <laughs> until, no. until I started to dig into it. No. So it does. And that's something to think about. That's Excellent. a major, a major advantage of long term. So as you're thinking about that, if it's coming through your company or you got to buy it independently, do the due diligence and see exactly how long yes. it's going to last. Yes. Good point. Yes. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.